all right guys and welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you guys how i went about painting my stormcast eternals vanquishers now these models are really really cool so the way i paint them is to do with like fire and stuff like that so we're going to show you a cool way of how to paint the swords uh, but yeah this is just to get your models on the tabletop so as you can see already the model's been built and sprayed with uh, lead belcher it's also had the basin put down already basically because it takes you know time to do and you might as well have it down now and drying on the way so what we're doing now is just going around painting the parts we want red so the red i'm using is corn red so we're doing the shoulder pads and the little thigh guards as well that they uh they have also we're going to paint the blade as well with this corn red so next we're going to be painting the capes now i was umming and ahhing what color to paint these should i do another red cape but i thought maybe it'll be too much red so i settled on brown so mornfang brown it's just painted all over the cape now when you come to paint the inside of the cape obviously you can do that in like a different color if you want but i just went with brown again just be a little bit careful not to try and get it on the uh the armor if you do it's not a big deal because we are going to be painting and over the armor but yeah just try to be careful painting a retributor armor so we're going to go around the model taking our time picking out some um trim so they've got some on the knee pads there's some on the elbows there's some on the shoulder pads we're doing that little crest around the head and also the part of the sword which is just above the handle i have no idea what that part of the sword's called anyone who knows put it in the comments below but yeah just go around and uh Take your time. So the next part here is the leather strapping. So I was going to, again, do it brown because you think leather and you think brown, but I wanted it to stand out a little bit more, so just a classic black leather. So we're going to go around all the, the straps with Abaddon Black. Again, just take your time. If you go over any other colours, wait for it to dry and then go back over with the uh, appropriate colour just to tidy it up that is my friend and yours everyone loves him good old Nolan oil so basically just wash this over the full model make sure to get it in all them cracks and crevices if there's any pooling just try and move it away with your brush but yeah just give it a nice generous wash of Nolan oil So what we're going to do now is reapply some colours. Basically, the wash has dulled everything down, so we're just going to try and brighten it back up. So we're going to start again with Mornfang Brown, just going over the capes. And what I like to do is start from the top and work down. Um, just try to minimise the brush strokes. But again, if you've watered your paints down correctly, um, they should dry without any brush strokes. So the next part we're going to do is go back to the red. So what we're going to do, start from scratch again. So we're going to go back with corn red. But this time we're not going all the way to the top. So as you can see, I'm doing some jaggy lines going up and down. Basically, we want the top of the red to be all jaggy and the bottom to be all nice and coloured in. And this will give a nice transition from the darker corn red with a wash on to the new corn red that is uh, brightening it up. Then what we're going to do is go lighter and lighter with reds. But yeah, let's go see how we do that. So now we've finished with the corn red. And now we're going in with the fist on red. And again, we do exact same process, but we move further down the panel. Now this goes for the shoulder pads as well. But obviously we're just concentrating on this uh, thigh guard. So again, we're just doing nice thin coats and we're moving down. So when it comes to doing the blending on the shoulder pads, it's the same process really, but what you want to do is obviously just water your, your, your paints down uh, a little bit more than you'd usually do, so they're almost like an ink consistency or a wash consistency, because when they dry, they automatically 
give a nice like highlight even on flatter panels when we're doing the highlights on the um bottom of the shoulder pads just use your brush on a 90 degree angle and swipe across so as you can see here as well about the um the blending make sure your paint is watered down correctly and then just move it about a bit might look a bit stark at the moment but like i say once it dries it does give a natural blend out so you get that nice highlight and shadow and all that lovely goodness so next what we're going to do is go over the gold again because the wash that we've applied has obviously dulled it down but we are wanting to brighten it back up so what we do is get our retributor armor again and we go over all of the raised areas obviously leave the wash in the recesses because that's where we want it um, but if we look from the model from the top down uh, and then that's what would catch the light so top of the shoulder pad that trim there the lightning bolt uh, and the top of the sword is basically just what we're gonna highlight move on to the silver armor itself so obviously it's been sprayed with lead belcher and again washed with known oil so that's darkened it down quite a lot so now what we're going to do is brighten that back up so i wanted quite a nice sheen to it so i have decided to use iron hand steel now this is a nice shiny silver basically and we're just going to go around and paint the armor back up with this obviously leaving the recesses with that lead belcher and null and oil I think this will give just a nice nice effect to the model. So now what we're going to do is start this effect on the on the sword. So we've painted it back up with uh, corn red and now what we're doing is just doing a dry brush maybe three quarters of the way down with my fist on red. It's going backwards and forwards here. So this is also the first time I'm using the army painter dry brushes now i usually use um old makeup brushes uh, and they seem to work for me these are a lot lot softer so i was a bit uh unsure on how to use them as weird as that sounds but yeah i think it's come across all right so then once we've done that my fist on red dry brush we go back over again with some was red and we just move up a little bit more making sure to get them edges what we're looking for is a nice transition so now we're going to build up this effect even more we're going to do a little bit of troll slayer orange dry brush now again this is just to the edges really um, and trying to get it on the edge of the sword as well all the way down yeah try to be sparing as possible you don't want to just make this like the, the dominant color after you've done all that work there so less is more with troll slayer orange and then for the last little part we've just used a little bit of avalon sunset mixed in with the troll slayer orange and we're just doing that on the end so once that's done, that is your model done. So let's go take a look. So guys, this is the model all finished. Just a nice tabletop standard uh, with a few little techniques in. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next one.